Actually, while Pat isn't here, perhaps we could talk about Millwall. Do you go down to Millwall at all? I haven't been down there. I'm actually a bit nervous about going there. So am I. <laughs> 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 there we go down there. Pat gets a bit frightened on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, I, I watched the game last Sunday and I'd been nervous going as an opposing team. I've got to... <laughs> well, I got a that bit scared a watching it game. on the telly. Well, apparently... And Mick I'd... McCarthy didn't see a thing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, he used to play for Man City. Well, I didn't see the game, but I heard that the, the Leicester player, Leicester player got sent off, and the referee mm. went over to him and said, off, off, and two players went <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, Apparently. that's true. And didn't Pat go off? And Pat went Pat off. Pat went off. Yeah. 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 What happened there, man? Well, when he came home, he said he was more frightened of coming home to me than seeing the PFA, because really? I'm terrible. I'm just... Do you give him a hard time when he gets that sent off? Yeah. Well, Why I just think it's really well, <laughs> well, basically, I mean, I think he's good football and got a lot of skill, and it's just. It's just <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Come on, no. Take no notice. I agree with you, man. <laughs> you hold it, hold it. You're not going to kill them all, are you? <laughs> Dennis Nielsen. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he hasn't got. He hasn't got. Uh... Oh, it's a slow burner. <laughs> but I don't think there's any need for any violence in the football game. But I just think they they're all so emotionally into it. Yeah. They're all. I agree. They're all so emotionally into it that it's just they're well, all balled up and ready. If I could just say, Mandy, in Pat's defence, I watched the uh, I watched the game last Sunday, and that old field used to play for Man City. I mean. Yeah. At the merest hint of a forearm smash, he'll fall over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, study player. It hasn't, it hasn't gone that, that soft, though, at Millwall, because, you know, even if you're a heavyweight boxing champ, yeah, and you're a fan, you're still likely to get your hat nicked down there. That's true. <laughs> Local boxing hero, Michael Bent. Watch the hat. Watch the hat. And okay, it's been done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite <laughs> here. Unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> Mandy, your team, let's have another look at it. So the real big thing is that re is right started sort of happening for you now. Because mm. um, when you bought Ian Wright, uh, it all looked like that was going to be a fantastic buy. And then it was nothing a lot of money, wasn't it? It was Ten nine million, million wasn't it? <laughs> Ten, I think. Fifteen Ten points million. he's got, though. I mean, it's a good contribution. Interesting that Wright has got no assists. At all, though. Does that tell us anything about his style of play? Do you think he's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you've been playing Graham Sharp instead of him. You've got Graham Sharp in your yep. squad. I have. And uh, he hasn't really done the business for you. In fact, he, he didn't have a very good week this week, did I he? I know, but I, I've just been gambling with the players, really. I've had to just swap them. Well, you've actually been like playing clubs. poker or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. Some of them are real Pat sharp. Wins, so. are <laughs> balls in your yeah. Sharpie and Pat are good friends, by the way. Sharpie and Pat. <laughs> Pat. Oh, Pat. Pat. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> oh, Graham Sharp. Yeah. Sorry, Graham Sharp and Pat Coombs are, are very... <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, apparently. That's fascinating. I'll tell you something about your teams, and, and you might not have noticed this, but both of you have got a lot of players who have got very famous parents. Have you know, has, has this occurred to you at all? Really? No, I just... Only one, isn't it? You've got an obvious one, but there yeah. are some... You've got David Brightwell in your side. Mandy. Does that anyone thought... know who David Brightwell's famous parents are? I know he doesn't play for it. Mr. and Mrs. Brightwell! Yes! Someone said it. Someone said it. And Packer. And Packer was his Robbie mom. Brightwell. And Robbie Brightwell was his dad. Brightwell, so incredibly right. famous British athlete. Yeah, I mean, you've got, you've got Ian, Ian Walker, Walker, who's Mike yeah. Walker's son, obviously. Uh, but Anne Packer is quite a surprise. He was. Did, it, Anne Packer's a bit before your time. No, I but we have got a clip of Anne Packer in action in the Olympics. And, in fact, this piece of commentary won David Coleman the most excited bloke in the world. <laughs> <laughs> she really has to come a long way around and she's moving into second place. And here she comes on the outside. <laughs> a tremendous run. And she's going to do it. <laughs> Anne Packer's going to take the gold medal. It's Anne Packer, Great Britain. Oh, what a consolation. <laughs> Anne Packer. Oh, he's a fantastic run. And there's Robbie Brightwell. And John Cooper and all the Relay Boys. Magnificent, magnificent, magnificent. <laughs> That's actually a scratch hip-hop record of David Coleman. <laughs> Saying magnificent. So, so that was David Brightwell's parents. 
Wow. Olympic record that as well. Great. Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> go on, Stefan. It was, it was. It was great. She got she uh, silver in the 400 Olympic record. It wasn't great. It was magnificent, magnificent, <laughs> magnificent. Two hundred one point one Olympic record time made up for the disappointment of Robbie had finished fourth in the 400. Mike Caraby winning the gold for the USA. It really, that was great. I mean, you look Mike at the great. Mike Caraby winning the gold for the <laughs> USA. You've got off into the statistics <laughs> stratosphere. Yeah, but it, I mean, it was it was fantastic for athletics that. It was. I think winning. it's about time Mike Caraby got a good. <laughs> <laughs> he's, treat, he's treated bad, I think, by the media generally. <laughs> what are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about <laughs> famous, famous fathers, famous parents. So in your team, Eddie, if we bring Eddie's team up now, uh, you've got Redknapp there. And actually, oh, before yeah. we talk Redknapp, about... Well, yes. he's Harry Redknapp's son, of course. Of course yeah. But also, I, I just dropped him into you the player's him. pool That's for right. nothing, and you bought him for two, two million. million. After that. They didn't tell me you'd let him go for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't, yeah, well, I don't know. You could have given me two million for him. <laughs> but you've also got the other famous father, and the most obvious one, is um, you've got Nicky Summerby. Summerby yeah. And your assistant manager mm -hmm. is Mike Summerby. And it's amazing how similar these two are as players. Making the pass. <laughs> Davis across with England. Get the pass to Wigan! That's amazing. He's spitting image of his mother, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's, done, he's done okay for me, Nicky Summerby. Mm. The oh, main fantasy assists. league problem tends to be defenders, doesn't it? Because as we're looking at Mandy's team mm. before, you've got Dorigo who's, got, who's done all right for yeah, you. Yeah, not too bad. But Eddie's got 21 from... points out of his defence from Barrett and Irwin. Good. Someone given Stato yeah. something today. <laughs> 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 I mean, I, 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 I fell 12, Irwin 9. It's I fell foul of the, uh, your 75-minute rule this week because I had Howie of Newcastle who kept a clean sheet, but he went off after 62 minutes, so, so I missed out on four points then. Actually, Howie, yeah, um, you don't, do, you, do you play him that often? Only at home. Because you, 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 you played him this week and I he went I played him off. this week, yeah. Right. Because, of course, he's managed by Kevin Keegan, of course. Of course and actually, yeah. we've got a classic clip of Kevin Keegan in action. Marvellous. Yes, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, this week's competition, which one was Kevin Keegan? <laughs> Sorry, that was last week's. I don't care, it's two repeat fees. <laughs> <laughs> but the other star player that you've got is Mark Hughes, uh, a very fine player. We've actually got a, a, a clip of Mark Hughes here, and this was actually just after John Toshak told him about his new formation for the Norway game. <laughs> 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 so, how's Hughes? Have you been pleased with Hughes? Uh, Hughes has been scoring a lot in the FA Cup, but not in the league. Right. So, Mark, if you if you're watching, stop giggling and score in the league <laughs> next Wednesday. Generally speaking, though, because we're coming, we're about the halfway mark in the fantasy league season. I mean, Mandy, what have you got? How do you see the future of the team going? What what where do you need to strengthen? And who can you get rid of? Um, well, forwards are okay. Obviously, quite strong there. You're going to stick with Campbell. Because um, he seems to be a bit. But you never know. You see, sometimes they can just pick up again, and then like, you know, if you drop them, that's when they come back. No, in my luck. Surely you've got to be after Teddy Sheringham, though. I mean, because you've got all the info on him. Yeah, but. I don't well, mean that's in that. Why... <laughs> oh, come on. What are they like? Oh, they oh like? it's become carry on fantasy league. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to tell each other. All right, all right. And now it's time for Phoenix from the Flames. This week, the father of the long throw shows us his most famous long throw. So, Ian, the reason that I'm a Chelsea fan right, is that my first footballing memory is actually of Chelsea winning the FA Cup final in 1970, when I was six. So you ruined my life. Hey, hey, 23 down. years. 23 trophy-free years. Hey, will you just calm down? Uh, so uh, tell us about the technique for this long throwing you used to do, Ian. Well, a lot, a lot of players nowadays, they, they just come up and they take a throw in from there. Or, I used to take three or four paces up, and then the follow-on, 
which the press nominated as the windmill because my arms followed through. <laughs> yes, round they go. Plenty of wind today. Windy mill, oh windy mill, sharper than a thorn. All right, Ian. Yeah, don't, that's not to overdo it. Um, so tell us exactly what happened in 1970. Well, it's the first period of extra time and uh, we had a throne on the left-hand side. I signalled to Ozzy that I was going to throw it near post, not far post. Yeah. I took the throw in. Uh, Jack Charlton, bless him, uh, he flicked it on his head of Ozzy and Webby and Tommy Baldwin were at the back and Webby was there first. Right. That was the first time he was uh, in front. OK, well, well, let's do that, OK? Uh, I'll be David Webb, uh, you be Jack Charlton, and you you be Ian Hutchinson. <laughs> right, but play Kenneth Walston now. And Hutchinson building up the position for one of his famous long ones near to the penalty box, and up goes Dempsey and Webb as Hutchinson prepares to take the throw. Can we do it again? Give it a bit less this time. <laughs> uh, so let's get it right then. You're David Webb, yeah. I'm Jack Charlton, you're Ian. You don't look anything like David Webb, you know. and people are taking throwings now, I've got to go and stand on the bloody in your puss. Bloody throwings, we stop. Yes, yes, if I score this, I'll be given VIP treatment by Chelsea for the rest of my life. Do you remember that? Very well, yeah. It was but, actually, uh, it was uh, watched that by 32 million people in this country. It's the highest thing ever watched by a British domestic audience. Phoenix from the Flame. Yeah, just that, just now. Yeah. yeah. It's incredible. Makes you feel proud. That and, of course, the little and large Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> How can we forget that? Yes, that's why I support Chelsea. Just that moment there. I remember it clearly. We ought to mention, actually, that you see the... Oh, no, we can't mention it because I think that's the postman, isn't it? Oh, you go and get that. Oh, go and get it. We've actually got, we've got a host of letters this week, and this is the best one, I think. This is a genuine letter that got sent in from Mr. I. Shaw in Edinburgh, and he says, the ball was just above Frank's left shoulder after 16 minutes, 34 seconds of the show. I can't believe that someone actually thought it was a real competition. That's so brilliant. Hey, there you go again. <laughs> he was right there, but it was, I it saw was it. There, actually. Anyway, we have had a letter, and it's from Mrs. Anne Palmer of Oldham. And it says, Dear David and Frank, I think modern day footballers are far too aggressive towards each other. Could you please show a clip of the old days when captains always started the game with a nice, friendly gesture? All right, oh, this is uh, Moscow versus Paris in 1941. That's a nice gesture, some flowers. That's a. <laughs> oh dear. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> That's oh, a very friendly gesture. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a bit tongy for a football <laughs> Well, that's about it for this week. Next week, our guests will be Basil Brush and Roy Hattersley. Thanks to Mandy, thanks to Eddie, and of course to Fergus McCann. Where would we be, 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 be without <laughs> you? <laughs>